welcome to this video tutorial on initial configuration settings. The first time that you open Noxternal, you are going to want to make a few changes that will make life easier for you down the road. Go to the Tools option at the top of the page and click on Settings. Your first category will be your general settings. Number one will be your data location. This is where your recordings will be stored. If you are on a hospital network and your IT group would like to have a central storage location, then they can assist you in setting this up and simply pointing this target line to that storage location. Second, you have auto save. This will auto save your workspaces as you're working. It defaults to an interval of about 10 minutes and you can set that for shorter, longer, or unchecked to not have your workspaces auto-saved at all. Your default epic duration is next. 30 seconds is the standard and most people leave it there. Your default signal selection color, if uh, you like the original blue, you are fine with that. If you would like to be more colorful and you say red or any other color, then you can make those changes as well. For your arrow keys, you can select if they turn half a page or a full page when you use the left and right arrows. And then finally, your system units. In the US, you will want to choose the US system. In Europe, you would want to choose the metric system. And then you can also set a specific paper size for your reports. You will also want to adjust your power line filter. This is your notch filter to eliminate artifact. In the US, of course, 60 hertz, in Europe, 50 hertz. And then finally, your desired language. Your next section is your user and company settings. You can put in your name, your initials, your email address, the company information and address, the website if you have one, and then your work email if there is a general company email. The other item that you would want to check initially are your device options. First, you're going to want to configure the device to synchronize the time with the computer so that every time you initialize a device for a recording, it will synchronize with this computer set time. You can also set your download options to ignore short tests or accidental recordings. Say the short period of time where you are demoing the device for a patient would probably be less than 10 minutes and you can instruct the system to ignore any short recordings and not download to your data folder. You can also adjust how the patients are displayed in your data folder. One option is timestamp and the recording ID or the first five digits of what you have entered as your recording ID. The other is timestamp and patient information or their ID and name. Finally, you have your auto gain settings. This sets your audio playback gain as a percentage of its original gain. So if you wanted it as loud as it was actually recorded, you could set it at 100%. If you wanted it to come in louder so that you could hear better, you could turn that up. 100% um, is usually adequate though. When you're finished, click OK. And these settings will be saved to your system. Thank you for your time. And I hope that these initial configuration settings are helpful.